It's your boy Warlow back with another my team video, and we gotta discuss 2K is dropping violence today. 2K is banning people tonight. They are 2K is running smoke pack with the MT sites and a potentially the rep system so make sure to all still drop the like on the video and stuff of that nature and comment how you feel after i um explain what is going on in my team so the mt sites actually let's start with the rep because this is where it first got revealed okay if you looked at the rep any day like you look on playstation and xbox to, you you'll you'll realize fast that the lists of the players on the rep is completely different like it is like not the same as before like go back a day ago i don't know if anyone paid attention to this thing it was just boosters 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 on playstation xbox it was bad it was taking over the whole console so yeah it was take it was taking over basically taking over and it was just out of hand 2k banned a lot of people because two-way i seen him two-way been grinding his butt off every single day Two-Way was grinding his butt off on, like, he is one of the biggest grinders on this game. Better than me. I Once upon a time, I had it in me. But I'm not, yeah, he's not here or there. But it's just, like, an example of what was going on. He was literally, like, look at this. Look how, like, this is, like, this was September 26th. He wasn't even on the leaderboards. So they banned a lot of people. They went through and checked and basically packed them up. Gave them all smoke packs, pink slips and got them out of there which is absolutely crazy because that needed to be done i might get back should i get back on the rep grind i mean i don't know i don't know if i got it in me to go for the rep grind again but maybe i should go on it because now that they're actually banning people getting rid of these clowns that are literally just they're basically just finessing it not even playing i mean it's a great feeling it makes me happy inside so i it's great because it got it made rap grinding not even no point of even going for it when it's just nothing but boosters on the leaderboard but this is actually cool i can see i i see a lot of new names and it, it actually feels good to see it but we gotta discuss the mt okay we've been seeing these high market price we're not like what 2k has done first and we're i'm gonna explain also as well like it goes back to the previous video what we need to explain with this 2k is a banning a big amount of people right now okay this comes from a mt selling i don't know I, I i don't know what it is but this comes from a person apparently that works and sells mt i think he does and he said this in quote they are console banning people if you buy mt you will be console banned. It's crazy that they're doing this, but 2K is coming crazy. Everyone who purchased MT was banned. Understand that. Every single person who even purchased MT from this guy, they were good for now, got packed up and got banned on their consoles. 2K, they came with violence today. Oh my God, I can't believe this. They came in with violence and packed everybody up today. Oh my God. He's saying that what the rap is. Those accounts are now banned, but not the accounts that were still for sale. So the accounts they still sign still there, but they banned a boatload of people. And this is what he wrote here. He said the new accounts are though that, well, he's trying to buy console selling, but he said, he says, and this one's from an MT site, he says two cards are high because 2K makes them that way. For the people that don't know, it is the truth and God bless. And honestly, I don't disagree with that take from this person, the MT site, okay? I do not disagree with this take because 2K banning people is a step in the right direction. But the issue arrives. Okay, all the, if you ban all those people, right? Imagine that person had a Scottie Pippen. Imagine that person had a LeBron. Imagine that person had a, like, a Pink Diamond. Let's look for example. Imagine they had, like, I don't know, like, an artist. I mean, he might not, he's in packs right now. But a Zion, a Paul George, a Kareem. All that supply is gone now. 
which is absolutely like all that supply is now out of the moat and that is a problem too because now what they have done is and 2k is part of corporate too but you know what they have done is basically that mt is out there now now people have more mt what 2k needs to do to make them like stabilize the market they have to drop this Monday, when they dropped the super packs, which we talked about earlier, watch that video. They need to drop those super packs and increase the odds a lot, right? And then that following Friday, they need to make that set really, like, I mean, make the odds bet, we'll do whatever. But they have to make that set even, like, a guaranteed top elite card of some kind. Very expensive. To get all, to suck that MT dry out of all those people. Like, they need to do, like, a Tim Thomas or something. Juice up certain things. I, I don't like it, but that's an idea. Just basically so they can gather up all that MT that was like in circulation and get rid of it. Because this doesn't fix the complete issue because now you have people with MT. Now people that are legitimate players sold their cards and now they have 800K. They have 700K. And that's still going to increase the price. So to bring it down, really, is they need to do that. And then after that, they need to chill with the lockets. <laughs> I think we all going to agree. The, like tomorrow, maybe not drop an Amethyst, you know, I think for exchange right here. There's an Amethyst, Amethyst, um, Ironclad right here. Like maybe don't do a set like this. Maybe chill out, which they have done. I mean, in the beginning, you realize you go back to here to Gem of the Game Season 1. There was none of this. It was no 95 pluses. It was legitimate. It was like you, there was no set lock-ins. And you realize Glenn Rice, Kiki aren't extreme prices. This would be good for the game. And maybe we could see a pack odd increase. They have to increase, like we said, increase the odds. And we can stabilize this market. People are asking. I mean, there's certain people that want the player market back, which is just crazy to me. No, how about you just fix the issue? If they stop making everything on for next season and that more supply there and they make the odds better, it will be better for the game and the gameplay will improve. And the market, you'll have a better market. Cards will be cheaper, not as high. Diamonds won't be as high. Everybody will be happy. So I think that second part is all going to happen now. 2K is not likely going to do it. And they're probably just not going to listen to that part at all. But they are banning people, so what I would suggest is don't buy MT. If you have, stop. You're going to get packed up. They are. Do you want your console banned? Because if you cut console banned, you got to get a whole new console. Okay? It's not that you've been... It's not like they're just straight up. Like, oh, you get banned, you're getting, like, a little banned. No, you can just make another account. You have to buy a whole new Xbox. I know people just don't want to go out... And they can afford to buy a new Xbox. Like you have to basically get rid of your Xbox, buy a whole new one. That's that's money. That 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 is money. So 2K, this since you're doing this, I agree to banning them, but you have to show us better as a company and to make things work personally. But I just wanted to make this video late at night that 2K just chose violence. They are chucking the bands. So yeah, I just saw this on stream today, and that and that is crazy. But see y'all in the next of my team video and give me a kiss. See y'all.